everyone, welcome back to my channel, Let's Get Cinematic. My name is Tiffany and everything we discuss on this channel has to do with physical media. So today, I am going to try a new series. I don't know about you, but I have a massive DVD collection. That is what I have collected most of my life is DVDs. So when I decided to start collecting Blu-rays and other forms of physical media, um, I am starting to run out of room. My husband has built all the shelves that he could build in my movie room, and we have a huge shelf in our bedroom that's built as well that houses um, a big portion of my Blu-rays as well as my TV series and my steelbooks. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try this out and see how you guys like it. I typically, when I get rid of any physical media, I ship it to my best friend over in Michigan. Um, she is also a movie collector. She likes movies as bad. Well, I don't know if she likes them as much as me, but she likes to collect movies. And so instead of me just taking them to the Goodwill, um, I like for somebody to get them that's going to take care of them um, because this is years of my life of collecting. So I think this new series I'm going to do would be to show you what movies are moving out of my collection from either just watch them and don't like them. Um, or I've upgraded to Blu-ray, which is the majority of them, um, or something that along the way I forgot to put into my movie book and I bought double copies of. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to go through this first stack that I'm getting ready to, after this video, take to the post office and mail off to Michigan. So let's go ahead and get started on what I am removing out of my physical media collection and I will kind of let you guys know um, whether I've upgraded or it's just a movie I don't like or um, whatever reason it is that I'm getting rid of this. Again, let me know down in the comments, do you like this kind of video? I kind of searched around on, on YouTube and didn't see a whole lot of videos like series that show you like what um, you're upgrading in your collection or getting rid of. Um, so I am going to go ahead and try this out and see how it goes. So the first movie, um, this was actually, I've had this in my collection for years. Um, and I finally got it on, um, Blu-ray, but with an actual case, but these were real popular. I would say probably 15 years ago when they first started coming out. And this one is the Amityville Horror. This is the remake, but it came in these little, um, yellow, paper cases at I think these were Dollar General and they were like two bucks as you can see here so I have upgraded to a blu-ray that has a case and artwork so I am sending this her way I'm getting that out of the collection this next one was one that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree and must have missed it either on my list or um didn't uh, put it in my list so I missed it and bought it again so this is a rebuy in a better world I've not seen this movie but I mean it looks good um, so I do look forward to watching that but I am going to go ahead and ship it over to my friend this is another one that I somehow double dipped on and it's the nearest human being that was a Dollar Tree and then this one, again, was a double dip on accident, um, and it's Insidious Chapter 2. I already have this movie as well in Blu-ray, so I'm going to be sending that along. Now, this one was a disappointment. Um, it was my own fault. It was a um, movie that I bought off of eBay. I did not pay attention, which I should have been paying attention, that the person that was selling it was in China. I do believe this is a knockoff, a burnt movie. It looks like the case is, I don't know, the case is, if it's the Chine, Chinese version of it or if it's just because it's all in Chinese on the back, so it has no, like, English or anything like that. But I went ahead and repurchased it after I received it and realized what I had done, and that is Bo's Afraid. And as you can see, like, the case is, like, way different. Like, it says Bo's Afraid across here, and then... It opens up. And then on the back, it's just all Chinese lettering. And it's got a slip. And even the disc, I mean, I'll show you the disc in it. It looks a little, yeah, it looks like it was copied. So as you can see, it's real dark. So I think it's a bootleg. 
copy of it. The only thing that was really good about this whole situation was the case is this this blue case or this Blu-ray case is very sturdy, so should have swapped it out for something else. But so I'm gonna send it her way, um, because I already rebought it because I am a huge A24 collector, so I try to collect all the A24s that I can. Um, so I am going to send that her way. This next one, I think this was just a case of where I bought the case. I go to the Dollar Tree. I know a lot of people buy like Blu-ray cases online like for, what is it, like 10 for 20 some dollars or whatever. But sometimes I will go over to the Dollar Tree and then um, buy like the Blu-ray DVD combo movies for a buck and then keep them for casing. And then when I switch out the cases, I just send the movies that were originally in it over to my friend. So this is one of those cases where I used um, the case itself. And this is V82. And she has a little, she has two um, two daughters and two sons. So, you know, the, one of her kids will, I'm sure, enjoy that. This one I bought at a flea market um, and did not realize the back of it. Like, I don't know how I missed it, but it's case 39. So I rebought this again. <laughs> but the back of it, as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's like, really bad in the back so I'm gonna send that over her way and now we're getting down to the actual um, DVDs now all of these DVDs none of them I'm getting rid of because I just didn't like them um, I'm getting rid of these all because these have all been upgrades from DVD to blu-ray so the first one is Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell's Overboard love this movie I'm not so much of a fan of the remake of it but I do love the original the movie Cloverfield. I don't have this on Blu-ray, however. I do have it on the Steelbook, DVD Steelbook. So I, there's no reason for me to keep two copies of it. So I went ahead and sent her that one. The next one I got, I upgraded, was The Other Woman. Woman? The Other Woman. Cute little comedy. Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann, and Kate Upton's in that one. The next one I upgraded is My Sister's Keeper which I just had this in a video, I think, for my September pickups. So I will gladly pass this along. And then this is another one that I just upgraded, which was Speed with Keanu Reeves. Very good movie. This is a collector's edition, so it's got, like, two discs in it, which I debated on whether to keep that one or not. Um, also, like the ones, like my DVD collection, I plan on upgrading as much as I can. Obviously, not everyone's going to have a DVD uh, release or get. Um, but the ones that I will never get rid of in my collection are going to be like my horror collections, I will keep. Um, ones that I cannot get my hands on again, like I have some Faces of Death, which I'm pretty sure is outlawed in the United States to even have the movies or, or sell them. I do have a few of them, um, like my Twilight series, things that like I really like gravitate towards wanting to keep. I will not be getting rid of them whether I upgrade or not. It is just some that will remain in my collection. So the next one that I just recently upgraded as well is Parenthood. I love this movie. I have watched it so many times I can't even count. It is probably one of my favorite Steve Martin movies other than Father of the Bride and Father of the Bride 2. This is the one that it took me forever to remember from a childhood. From childhood, I used to watch it. I could never remember the title of this movie. And then I ran across it someday, or I think it was on eBay or something. I was like, oh my gosh, that is the movie. But then as soon as I bought it on DVD, I turned around and bought it on Blu-ray. So it's Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeves and Jane Seymour. So that I am passing along. This next one is a long one, but a very good one. It is Meet Joe Black. I recently bought this on Blu-ray as well, so that's going out of the collection. The next one that's going out of the collection is Magic Mike. Um, I did get Magic Mike on Blu-ray. Um, I have all of the Magic Mike movies, but this isn't a trilogy that I really want to keep. I mean, I don't dislike Magic Mike, I mean, it was an okay movie. I like the first one out of all of them, but um, it's not a movie that I gravitate towards, so I'll go ahead and pass those along to her. The next one I got, um, I upgraded, was Casino Royale. So that is going. 
And I think this is even, yep, see, this is even a, um, a collector's edition. But it's full screen, which eh, nobody really wants full screen anymore. And then the next one I upgraded was The Descendants with George Clooney. So this one I'm sending over to her. And the last one I'm sending over to her is Bid, or Bid, get it right, Tiffany, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, because I just bought the triple feature of their movies on Blu-ray. So the only one that I owned in um, DVD form was The Excellent Adventure. So that is what I am sending. So let me give you another shot of these movies that I'm that are going bye bye in the collection. As they call the money shot. And then these are some of the, the Blu-rays that are going. The money shot of that. So that is it, guys. I you know it's painful to see my movies go because I've spent. Um, We'll see, I'm 45, so the last 20 some years, 22 years or more, I started collecting in college, VHS dates, that's how old I am, um, but I've been collecting a lot of these um, DVDs for very many years, so it's sad to see them go out of my collection, but at the end of the day, I mean, I don't need double copies of everything, um, I need space in my movie room, so that is what I'm going to do, I'm just going to send them along. Sadly, but I'm going to send them along. So tell me what you think about this series. Is this something that you guys would want to see? Like what I've upgraded or movies that maybe I watch um, and I just don't care for it or, or to keep in my collection. So I'm just going to pass them along. Um, if this is something that you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And then I will be back on Sunday to start my steel book collection. So I'm going to do it in two because I don't have a ton of steel books. I have a, a small collection, around 60, 65 um, steel books. Um, I pick them up as I can. Um, but I am going to do that probably in two videos, um, sun on Sundays. And then I'm going to start cause people's asked me to do my movie collections and DVD. So which would you rather see first after my steel books? Would you rather see the DVD collections or would you rather see the movies, uh, or the TV series? Let me know. Or um, did I say that right? The DVDs or the TV series? Let me know which one you would rather see first. So go ahead and leave that comment down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. And we'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.